Maddie and welcome back to another episode of our Sims 3 Decade Challenge. In the last part, we got uh, we came, became the girlfriend of Mr. Clifford Moore, the mailman. Uh, talk about a more generic thing, dating the mailman. Um, anyway, so that's what we did. I also gave Miss Abatha a makeover. Um, I gave her one of the 1920 dresses in the color red because I said she looked good in red. And so I gave her this dress instead of the custom content one she had on. Um, and um, yeah, I also gave Clifford a makeover, so I will have to invite him over so you can meet him. And I also, um, I'm gonna try and keep my voice lower because I just get really like hyped up. I get really loud. Uh, that's just who I am. When I get excited, I get very, very loud. So I'm gonna try and stay calm, y'all. We're gonna stay calm. But I wanna have a kid. <laughs> All right, let me back up, give y'all some context. So we have this fireplace, you know, a beautiful little wooden fireplace. And I think it would just be so cute to have kids playing in this living room in the middle of winter with the fireplace going. It's a beautiful, cute idea. But also, snow? Is snow something that would come in this town? Is snow something that happens here? I don't, I don't really think so. I also made the second generation's hubby today because I just couldn't wait. The idea I had within my head of him is just, it didn't turn out perfect on paper, but I still am excited to play generation two. But before we get to generation two, we have to actually have generation two children. But you know, it's the 1920s, having kids before marriage is something that was frowned upon. And so, we're gonna wait a little bit until they get married to start popping out the babies left and right. Uh, so she's just gonna paint because she actually needs to paint. Why? I silenced your phone. Why is it still not? I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway, she needs to paint, so we're going to have her paint. Level five, dang, I feel like she's getting the skills so quick. Maybe it's just my computer, they go so fast, I'm like, already level five. You know what, that's not an ugly picture. I mean, it's not the best, but you certainly have done worse. Okay, let's use the bathroom. I think we're just gonna take Monday to get our painting skill up, make some money, and then maybe Tuesday? Tuesday, we can talk to Clifford. This is Clifford right here. Um, he gives me 70, 70, not 70 dad's vibes because that, I don't know, he just gives me 90s dad vibes. I don't know, I'll show you when he comes here. He is so stinking cute though. I love Clifford so much, y'all. I cannot tell you how much I love this man, okay? I love Clifford so freaking much. It's just wait till you see him. Wait till you see him. What is what is up with this girl in solid color paintings? She did a blue one last time, and actually this is actually really nice red one that looks like the banner for breast cancer, except I mean it's a darker color, but I actually quite like this picture and because she looks so stinking good in red, I think we should hang it up in her in her room. I just think that we should not outside, no, in her room. Uh, there we go. I just think that looks so, that's a really, that's a nice picture. Good job, Abatha. Oh, you wanna sell that. Too freaking bad, sweetie. That's a good picture, you're not selling it. It's already 8.45, I, 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 don't, I don't know where the time goes. Um, all right, well she's just gonna make some, she's just gonna eat some leftovers. There's no need to cook if we've got leftovers. We don't have a very good fridge, they just go bad. They will go bad. All right, so it is the following morning and we're going to go out with Clifford today, go on a little date to the beach probably. And the main simple reason is because I want you guys to see his makeover. I am very proud of his makeover. Um, so of course, of course you need to see it. I, her phone is silenced. Why is it ringing? It's silenced, she can't hear it. It doesn't exist. Anyway, so yeah, she's going to, you know, mm, 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 we'll eat before we go. Yeah, we should eat before we go. I was gonna say we'll eat together, but we'll eat before we go. 
Okay, so she's going to do the dishes and then she's going to invite Clifford out because, uh, ask her on a date. Um, because, I mean, like, hello! Choose a destination, the beach. It looks like a really beautiful day today. It is 76, 76 in fall weather. It is a great day to go to the beach. Like, that is Florida beach weather right there. God, I wish I lived in Florida. I don't. I live in Colorado, and I... I hate it. And that is Mr. Clifford Moore. Uh, okay, well, his mustache is currently glitching out, but let it get fixed and let me introduce you to our boo! This is Clifford! Look how cute he is! You cannot tell me that he is not a very attractive sim. He was our mailman and he's really, really good looking too. Uh, I love this man. He is so attractive. Very attractive. So, you know what? Let's say hello to our boyfriend and uh, be a little... Let's kiss him because she does want to actually kiss him. So, you know what? Let's kiss him. Just hang out with our boyfriend on a beach in our everyday wear. We're not wearing our beach clothes for some reason. I also don't actually have uh, Island Paradise installed right now. I don't have all the packs installed. A lot of them I don't have installed because I just didn't think that would be something. Like some of the stuff that came with it I don't think was really popular or existed back in these days. So, I didn't install them. Ooh! Look at you guys. You guys' lips are actually touching. Good job. She wants to have a great date with Clifford. Is it too soon to get proposed, engaged, leading to marriage? Is that too soon? Look, what do you do with your date if you're not trying to butter him up to propose? Look, he thinks we're being very alluring. What if we proposed? I mean, I know we're going fast, but I really, really want to get to Generation 2. And also, what are we supposed to do? We don't really have a lot of stuff to do in this generation besides have an affair. And we can't have an affair until we're married. You know, affairs don't happen until one of the Sims is stepping out on their marriage. That's what an affair is. So what are we supposed to do until then? Hmm? Hmm? What are we supposed to do? <gasps> I don't know what that sound was, but I think we're going to propose. And I really wanted Clifford to propose to Abatha, but it just makes more sense if, uh, it just makes more sense if we have Abatha do it because, oh! <gasps> What is wrong with you? So he doesn't want to get a hug? No, he's fine with the hugs, but not the making out. How come? Why is he not okay with the hugs? I mean, with the making out. I mean, it's, it's, it's because it's the, it's the 1920s, isn't it? That's why. Because it's the 1920s and people didn't go make it out in public back then. That's what we're going to say it is. Because I don't actually have an actual reason. Guys, look at them. They're such a cute couple. And he does look like some decades dad. I don't know. He looks very much so like a dad and I really want to have he would be such a good dad I think he loves dogs he looks like a dad it all fits guys it all fits let's have her leap into his arms and then propose marriage oh look at them I love them his mustache is freaky doesn't really go the best but that's okay Guys, they're so stinking cute. I love them. I really do. Okay, so she's going to propose, and we're just going to have to act like it's not her proposing. Aw, it's only episode three. Great acting there, Clifford. Good job, Cliffy. Beautiful. Beautiful.
great, now we're engaged, and it's only part three. So, are we moving a little fast? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, oh my god, there are a lot of sims down here. This is Contesta and Consort. They are arguing, dude. Dude, your stash, your stash seriously needs some help. Uh, there's something wrong with your mustache. She's prego, that's great. <gasps> Beverly? Beverly, you look beautiful, Beverly. Mm. She has no sense of humor. Crap. And she dislikes children. You know what, Bev? Screw you. You don't seem like a very fun sim to hang out with. You don't like humor. You don't like kids. Uh, well, I don't know what to tell you, Bev, but... Uh... Okay, so our date just came to an end because Clifford became an unratable sim. So... Alright, so it is now 9.37 and we just made another friend. We have one, two, we need to become friends with... So we're definitely going to have to do some people pleasing on our next party because we need to hit 20 friends. That's one of the challenges I've added to this is to complete our lifetime wish each generation. And considering the fact how fast this generation is going, I need to start getting her making some friends. Jeez Louise, it is late at night. This girl's sleep schedule, it's not good. It's not good. Guys, her phone is ringing again. And I have no idea if it's to ask, if Clifford's asking her out on a date or what in the world is happening. No stinking clue. All right, so after she gets some food, she's going to recycle these and then she's going to spend her Wednesday painting because tomorrow is when we're having another party. So yeah, we're going to, uh, Fix plumbing to earn some simoleons. That is not a lady's job. Boom, she is now level six in the painting skill. She feels overcome by a stroke of artistic brilliance. Great, 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 great. I'm so excited. I don't know when we're going to have them get married, but I kind of want them to get married here at this uh, cemetery because it's such a beautiful place. I mean, like, come on. This looks like somewhere you get married. If it wasn't raining, it's raining currently, but if it wasn't, this is definitely somewhere I think you would go to get married. And um, that's that, so... So this is the picture she spent all day working on. It's not too bad, it's worth 240 simoleons, so we are going to sell that, because she wants to not only earn a promotion, but also reach level five of the painter career. So, I mean, like, we'll do what she, uh, what she wants and what we can do. Ooh, prove your painting skill, buy something at least worth 100 simoleons. So, another brand new morning on this lovely Sims game, and we certainly are, like, flying through, but it's time to throw our second party. We're supposed to have one every week, so it's time for our second party, and of course, we're going to invite Contesta, Ainsley, and Clifford. They are going to come, and uh, let's invite some people. All right, so I have our guest list here. It's mostly girls because I think that is just like a fun girls party. As for the type of party, I'm not exactly sure. I guess we could do another pool party um, since we have a pool in our backyard. As for the time, we'll do another one at two. That seemed like a good time. Hopefully it's not going to be raining. Oh, oh, it's raining. That's nothing, a nice little, a nice, ooh, we need to pay our bills too. But that's, rain is nothing a little testing cheats enabled true could fix. Oh look, it's suddenly no rain. Let's see, there's a letter from Blurmo who says, Dear Abatha, I can tell that you are a very special person, and if we didn't take the chance of getting to know each other better, I would regret it forever. Listen here, mob boss, you're dating Janet, who's supposed to be my bestie, so... I don't think you understand. We literally can't go for you. But I guess since she's going to have an affair, she doesn't really have morals. 
I don't know, she wants to cook, she wants to serve a home cooked meal at her party. So let's make some Goopy Carabana and this trash goes in the trash bag. And um, yeah, pool party, fall, it is 49. Not a very nice day for a pool party, but whoopsie daisies, what can I do? What can I do? I didn't have a big enough table for a feast party. I'm gonna take this sushi and put it in our refrigerator so we don't have a repeat of what happened last time. Hi baby, you look so good, though your stash is really messed up. Is that an ear, no, I thought you had an ear piercing. I was like, whoa, yeah, you're not having that. A small pain, sure, we can do that. Okay, come on, sweetie, you burnt it again, I swear on my soul. This woman cannot cook. She cannot cook. Okay, well, let's come over here and talk to, oh, we already talked to Contessa. She's already our friend. Don't matter, don't matter. Rita, 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 come here, sweet pea. I would like to talk to you, announce our engagement. Gotta make sure we have people come to our wedding. What are you doing? Stop it. I know you're hungry, but I don't care. Don't you know that? I don't care. Joke about work. Is she a painter as well? Is that what Rita is? Ask about career, don't ask about age. Let's not do that. I'm trying to have friends here. Let's avoid anything that could make it uh, not do that. Ooh, dance wildly together. We need to see you girls dance. Don't ask me where the stereo came from. Goodness, look at y'all. Okay, why is my, my like pause button wasn't working. But yes, good. Good, good, good. Become friends with them. Become friends with her. Get down and dirty. Not down and dirty. No, not that type of down and dirty. So yes, she is a self-employed um, person. That's why we can talk to her about jobs and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Let's enthuse about our wedding. So we can act like this party here is kind of like our before marriage party. We're just having a, our girlfriends over, getting to know them, doing stuff like that. Nice party, not. I'm out. Okay, well then leave, boo. I don't really care. I'm just trying to make friends here. And it's taking for freaking ever. I think my keyboard's going dead because the uh, keys aren't working the best. So I'm going to have to play with... <sighs> okay, we are very, very close to becoming friends with this girl. And if, if there's just one thing this party was supposed to be, it was a making friends party. And we didn't do that. So come on. Let's become friends, please. No, what? I'm trying to become Rita's friend, okay? Talk about a party fail. Like, oh my god, it really was a party fail. I'm just trying to become friends with people, okay? And it's taking so long. It takes so freaking long when she's a snob and I don't have... Yes, we're friends. Oh, thank you, Miss Rita. I appreciate you so much. Clean that up. Clean that Oh my gosh, okay, I actually have this mod where you can, is it in my game? No, it's not. It was like a, you can set the table. I need to put that in my game because I think that's so much fun. All right, our party was a bad one. It was not a good one. It was a bad one. But I mean, I don't know. It was a modest success. They feel good about having attended, which, I mean, that's all we want. And, uh, Rita, I thought you were, like, another woman so that I could have become friends with, but you're not. <sighs> anyway, I think I'm going to end this part here. I know that it was, um, hectic. It was a pretty hectic part, but, um, it was the shortest recording I've had out of the past two episodes, so... I don't know what happened. But yeah, thanks for watching this episode. In the next part, we are most likely 
going to have our wedding and get pregnant with our first kid. Because like I said, I know we're going through this uh, first generation super quick, uh, but like I almost played an entire week in one episode. So I mean, we're just playing it really fast. We only have one sim to take care of, so generally it's gonna be a lot faster to get through the game with only one sim. But I also really want to play the next generation because the I have the world. I'm so excited to play with the world and the sim. And I don't actually know what sim we're playing with, but the husband for said sim. I'm just really excited to play with the next generation and. Um, um, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys all next week uh, for another episode of this series. Bye, everyone, and hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, guys.